everyone is the CEO of their job. What that means is don't just do things the way they've always been done because it's your job description. A good leader paints a picture of the type of organization they're trying to create and gives the space for their staff to actually color in the line. You can hire a bunch of people and tell them exactly what to do and they can execute it flawlessly. And what you get then is productivity. But when you try to point folks towards that North Star and say, you know what, how do we get there? That's where you get innovation. And so if you want an innovative organization, you really got to give people that space to be the CEO of their job. So there's that level of ownership when people stop thinking about themselves as their role, but start thinking about themselves as the CEO of their job. There's so much out there and trying new things makes life more interesting, whether it's learning how to cook the new dish or learning how to cook. And I think the more that we do different things and get outside of our comfort zone, the more we discover, you know, all of the things that we might not have known that are fun or exciting, or that actually could be helpful to us. There are bad things that happen to good people. There are days when things just don't go right. And it's easy, I think, for some people to actually begin to pity themselves or to whine about it. But the reality is that everybody has a sob story. And most of the time, unfortunately, people don't really care about yours. And you have to learn how to self-soothe when things get tough and recognize that's part of the journey and move forward towards whatever it is that you've got to get done. You've got to move forward in life, move forward in relationships, move forward with jobs. You just got to move forward. And so this idea of, ouch, I got hurt, but at the end of the day, I've got to suck it up and drive on.